Uh, welcome guys in our talent open studio in this tutorial we are going to show you how to connect with azure storage blob and uh, how can we create a connection to connect uh, with talent to azure storage blob then we are going to create some container in azure blob storage then we will check uh, if the container is exist and exist or not then we will show some message then these are the list of component which we are going to use in this tutorial first of all guys we are going to assume that you have already an azure account so i am going to my azure account so this is my dashboard and i am going to click on storage account okay now it will show all the storage account which I have created. Okay, so for demo purpose, I am going to create a new account here. Okay, then there are some things which I would like to highlight in this tutorial first of all storage account okay how can how can we create it okay so uh, first of all that is i'm using free trial you can also use it uh, uh, on azure it is free and i'm using the my existing resource then i am going to create my storage account now it should be in a small letter talent azure storage this is the name okay i am going to copy this okay then you can see the location standard storage type and then review and create it okay now you can see all the things evaluation part now i am going to create it now you can see okay So I am just going to click on it, next step you can see that, go to the resource, it is still on the deploy deployment, ok, then go to the resource or now you can see there is a access key, so we need storage account name and access key to connect our talent so here I am going to my talent open studio ok so here I have created a blank job that is azure create container then I am going to my <coughs> metadata in metadata you can see there is a azure storage and i have already created a connection to connect with azure so i am just going to double click on it and you can see this is the name of connection and this is the account name which we have created so i i have already a already a storage account so i am using the same credential of it to save the time ok now pass the account key and check the and you can test it like this ok and you will get a message it is successful or a failure 
now you can see our connection has been successful so guys please keep in mind if you are going to create a connection settings then account name account key and protocol okay and you can also provide a use azure shared access signature which you can create also but i am not uh, using it so i am going to click on it okay finish it okay now we have created a connection string to connect my talent to azure so i need a t azure connection okay so to uh, to make a connection from my talent to azure so you can see i am going to the component in the component there is a property type so i am going to choose repository and in repository you can see i have already created a connection string as your storage connections click on ok button if it is not you can also provide the same credential over here again ok now what i need to do i need to create a container in my blob storage so i am going to use t azure storage con container create you can see create a connect okay then what i am going to do i am just yeah here just link my azure storage connection to create connection okay now here if i am going to choose it you can see there is a property type built in and connection component use this component we have already created a connection so we are going to choose it so first of all i am going to type the name my talent talent files okay and access control you can choose public okay so first of all i am going to my azure again okay go to my azure and you can see this is my storage and uh, I am going to show all the container to you over here. Okay. Now go to the blob. Blobs. In blobs you can see there, is, there are two container. But in talent we have, we have created a new container. My talent files. So I am just copying. Control C. Okay. Now what I need to do. I need to use T Azure storage container to check if the container exists or not. So I am just going to connect it. Okay. Now go to this setting and I am using these the storage connections and the container name. Okay. So this is the container name, okay, which I need to verify if exist or not. Then I need a T Java to enter some custom codes. So here, what I'm going to do, okay. So here you can see I'm going to the T Java, and here I'm going to print some things. So I'm using system. dot out you can see out then print in okay so in there you can see exit so what i'm going to do i'm going to use container if exist so copy it and paste it over here
our T Java component. They have put the value, uh, boolean value from the T Azure storage container exist and container exist, container exist after. Okay. Now our package is almost ready so we are going to run this package then we will see what will happen so we are going to execute this package now it is running okay so we have connected our azure storage and you can see the output that is true that means we are going to our SEO and going to refresh my blob storage now you can see this container has been created created on our blob storage so guys you can see it is very easy to create a connection on your azure blob storage and you can validate it if it is exist or not by the help of t azure storage container exist it is provide a facility and give a boolean value true or false true means it is exist and false means it is not exist so here in our job we have used it after creating the container but in the real scenario where whenever you are going to create a container you should use it before create a container on your blob storage so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to get and uh, know more about talent open studio and azure as microsoft azure also